Hello and welcome back to the channel. Like most of you tech enthusiasts or music enthusiasts, uh, one thing is always common that uh, you probably own multiple headphones or headsets. Uh, in today's world, uh, there are so many Bluetooth options available. I own a few as myself. Uh, my most favorite one for the last couple of years has been this uh, Anchor one or Sound Soundcore as they call it. Uh, it's been great, uh, as you can see from, I've used it all over the world uh, for travel as well. They, they work well, uh, but we're looking for something newer and better. So I recently purchased these OnePlus uh, Pro Buds 3, uh, and I actually have an unboxing video as well that I did on that. Be really happy with them, uh, other than a few things that I uh, minor minor things that I don't like about them. One being the ANC uh, and the quality, uh, sound quality is it's okay. Uh, you can uh, do uh, EQ on them and make it a little better. But I wasn't an overly big fan of them. But nonetheless, uh, I have traveled with these and they work well. Uh, so. But these are, as you know, uh, these are expensive uh, headsets. So I was always looking for something a little cheaper uh, that can just I can just keep it in the bag and uh, uh, use them for every now and then for for gym or or just going out. So just looking around different options, I came across this. You can see it's called Degri X08. Uh, got them from Amazon. Uh, these are available. I believe around $30 uh, so these fit the bill they're cheap enough uh, that basically can be used if there's a loose I can always buy another pair I uh, just want to try out looking at the specs it has a built-in mic a smart touch control IPX5 waterproof they say uh, up to 33 feet of transmission range and up to six hours on a single charge which is okay I guess it's kind of on the low side uh, but should should be fine uh, wireless charging that's always one of the things that I I like to have uh, since most of these is just convenient to just throw them on on a wireless pad and and charge them like you can see this one uh, so it's always convenient uh, one thing I do like about this is it shows that the case has a best battery percentage and it shows you for both of the uh, buds uh, when you put them in there in the charging case that's something that I miss on on both of my current ones because you have to connect to the to the app to see at least this one shows uh, the battery life by when you open it up the lights shine up so you can know there is but it doesn't actually show you how much battery is remaining on each of these uh, left or, or the right earbuds so it's just showing you the case uh, similar thing here it doesn't show you much detail except for green means up to a 90 90 person the battery is there but it does not tell you anything about individual buds until you connect to them so let's take a look at it uh, dive in and see what do they come with and then do an initial demo on that so let's grab my knife and let's do a quick unboxing and see what they look like earbuds some warranty stuff and instructions charging case did they come with air tips or one different sizes USB C microphone charging port some information about how to change your air tips and the power on button is on there. Okay. And this is how to power off. Pairing. So when you open up the case, it should automatically be in pairing mode. 
one bud we can do single bud as well and a pair of that exclamation let's throw it down the one that i got is blue color so i believe these come in seven or eight different colors blue pink white uh, green black the traditional one uh, but it's just a little different this one is a blue color so as soon as you open the as you can see uh, it shows 100% battery life case is a little on I think about the same a little on the bigger side but I don't think that really matters a little taller compared to the anchors and definitely smaller than that feels a lot lighter than both of them there's a USB C that's probably one of the best inventions ever that everything is now USB C so let's see yep if I put it on there the blue lights come on as, as you can see it's charging right now so wireless charging is a go See right here, it's charging up and it's showing for each individual bud the charge. So that's the best part about this. All right, so let's pair them up. I got my OnePlus open. Let's go to our Bluetooth. Sorry about that. Let's start going on. So open it up. Go to my Bluetooth settings. And I believe these are the ones. These are paired. Don't know where they go. See, these are the charging pins on the bottom. And in there, close that, start charging. Let's try that. looking at but more closely as you can see I believe this is uh, the mic right there and there's another these are not so as you can see these are pairing mode it's blinking blue and red I was wrong basically you have to take them out and put them in the air for them to get into pairing mode so as you can see now it's showing up as x808 now they're connected it says the battery is only 10 percent all right so i have hd asc connected uh enabled let's give it a listen let's see Sprays. So the problem I'm having is right now it's 
showing it's basically I'm getting a prom that is low battery so even though case is 91% but neither of these buds are our charger out now as you can see uh, they are batteries being depleted so, uh, so that's for uh, a quick unboxing are these uh, Tagri what do you call X08 uh, wireless head headphones or truly wired headphones as they call them um, so let me charge them up and play with them a little bit and then come back and provide uh, my final thoughts on them or initial thought I was all right I'm back uh, I think earlier there was some kind of anomaly uh, that even though the case was showing 100% but buds were not charged at all uh, so I reached out to the manufacturer as well and they suggested that since it's been probably sitting in, in the warehouse for, for a few months uh, they just ran out of battery and uh, the case wasn't updating so I charged them for a couple of hours and they seems to be fine now uh, so we'll give it a try and see uh, so let's continue where we were. Uh, so one thing I forgot to mention in the, in the box that it does come with a cable, a USB A to USB C cable for charging, but I would prefer using the wireless charger anyways. And there are some different sizes, two different sizes of tips that are there to get a better fit in your ear. Uh, one pair is already installed on there. So depending on how good of a fit you want, you can change them and try them out. So just looking at, uh, I don't know if it's focusing right now on there, uh, the buds themselves. So Earlier I thought maybe this is the uh, touch area, but the touch area is just below this speaker grill right here, uh, where you can uh, play, pause, increase volume, increase track, uh, and different features. So unlike usually where uh, these are the control controls are on the stem, for example, uh, the OneBuds Pro. All their controls are on the on the stem. So to raise and roll volume, you slide it up and down, and then you pinch this part to uh, change tracks. In this case, everything is controlled by a surface area on that. And the good thing is that it's on both left and right. So, uh, for example, to advance the track, you press on or tap on the right side. To go back to a track, you go uh, press on the left one. So here's the size comparison. They look around about the same, the thickness and uh, but a little heavier than these, the Tegri ones. But design wise, they're almost identical see on this one only has one hole in the bottom for charging this one has two and it also says left or right um, so you can determine the correct one for your ear another thing on the box I notice that for the charging pin they're also magnetic so as you can see the shake test uh, they're staying pretty well um, The door does not open it by itself either. So it's pretty nice. Uh, it's still very lightweight. So usually I was having some issue taking them out. They're kind of slippery. Let's give them a listen. It's gonna go back to. It. So. Right now, I do not have any EQ on them. Uh, so, 
they sound okay. Uh, kind of hollow, I would think, at least for this this kind of music. But one thing for sure, uh, they are extremely loud, especially compared to the OnePlus. But my major con concern about them was that even though they sound decent, they are not loud. Uh, but these, even on half, uh, I'm just getting way too loud. I think at this point, they are same as what I get for about 100% on, on the buds. So as I mentioned, you can probably EQ them and make them sound better. Like just by default, they seem much better if you just agree a little. Now they kind of sound a lot fuller and uh, you can still make out the vocals. So again, uh, for the considering the price, uh, they, they are, are, are great. I wouldn't say anything bad about them. Yeah, if I was, if I was paying $200 for them or more, uh, I would be concerned. But as far as quality goes, they're pretty cool. So just using the touch control on them, you can say from the right side, I press one tap and play pause, multiple tap and advance. It advances the track on the left one. If I just tap once, again play pause, multiple tap, goes back to the track. And if I tap and hold, then basically decreases the volume, as you can see. And on the right, if I tap and hold, then it increases the volume. You see? So, it's just the what I'm having some issue is that the area is uh, quite small so if you don't do not press or tab on the correct area you might not get it right but probably this just because I have not used it much uh, that might be the reason but uh, using it a few more times probably I should be able to get that right uh, so that's it I think uh, this was a quick unboxing and overview of the Tagri X802 wireless earbuds. Uh, the description, I will have the link uh, from Amazon where you can get them. Uh, I would definitely recommend them. They are not extraordinary, but for $30, uh, they are great uh, for that purpose. Uh, as far as call is concerned, I I personally haven't tried it, uh, but just listening to them, I think it should be okay uh, for your, your regular, but if you need something where you are mostly on the call, I would probably go for something uh, a little better. Uh, like I don't have any issue with OnePlus there. They sound great, uh, but even better are these old ones, uh, old anchors uh, or sound core. So that's it for today.